What do you think they're up to, baby? Lava. Things aren't always what they see in Baudelaire's. Our parents were training us for VFD and we didn't even know it. We can't live on the run forever. Don't you have any burning questions? Violet, Klaus, and Sonny Baudelaire. My name is Lemony Snicket. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on a series of unfortunate events. We are finally getting round to doing this trailer breakdown after a week since the trailer has been dropped. So I'm really, really sorry for this massive delay. I just really have been so busy and haven't been able to get round to doing it, but I highly regret that I had to wait this long because obviously a lot of you guys have been messaging me, asking me where is it, and I'm just very sorry. I just couldn't get round to doing it because these videos do take a long time, especially when it's a long trailer breakdown. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into breaking this trailer down. So throughout this trailer, we get many shots of season three and the final season and what's to come. So there is so many different little details that we're going to be pointing out. And I just love this trailer. I thought it was so good, especially the ending, which I'll get to in a minute once we finally get to there. But let's go ahead and talk about this first shot and so the first shot is on Briny Beach and you see Klaus, Violet and Sunny as they stand on the beach in the very familiar shot from back in season one in the first episode where they find out that their parents have perished in a fire and this is where we see Mr. Poe and Mr. Poe says where in the world have you been and how did you get here and then we get a recap and but before we move on from there you get to see Violet is holding a rock and it looks obviously harks back to episode one to how she made that device and she throws the rock into the sea and you know that's just a massive link back to that so then we get a recap and then after that recap of seasons one to two we see Count Olaf in the Hotel du Numon and I know I'm not saying it in the French way but that's how I say it I just can't do the French thing. My pronunciation is terrible, but they do pronounce it differently in the trailer. I must say that. So that's just a forewarning. I'm not doing it to be ignorant or anything. So he's sitting in the hotel with the Baudelaire's and then we cut to Kit Snicket and this is the person that we saw at the end of last season, just to recap, and she was in the taxi that was Jacques Snicket's car. And so they are related and she says, Baudelaire's. I need your help and so then we get our first look at Fiona Widdishans in the boat and so from the book she is the stepdaughter of Captain Widdishans and I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right but the submarine is called Quakeeg and again I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but this is our first look at Fiona and as far as I know unless I find it later we don't get a look at the captain yet but in that scene with the Baudelaire's she says this is the most important mission in VFD history so in the book she's actually a VFD member she knows all about it and so they're on this mission in the submarine in the Grim Grotto episode and you get to see them looking at a map and it looks like that is Fiona's hand and they're looking at the valley of four drafts and obviously very, very similar to the eye of VFD as most of the maps are. And so that is where they're going. You see X marks the spot. Maybe that's where they are or that's where they're headed. But the next shot is of the island and it seems like it's probably in the same shot, but you get to see what looks like that small island that we're going to be at in the last episode because the last episode is an extended episode rather than two episodes. And so you get to see that is apparently where the sugar bowl is at this point. And this is most likely probably in the fourth episode, that being one of the later Grim Grotto episodes. And so, yes, Fiona is in the submarine and the Baudelaire's are there with them. And you get to see the painting of Captain Widdishans in the background, but that's about it. But you don't get to see a shot of him. And then moving on from them, we get our first shot of Richard E. Grant and Beth Grant actually playing the woman with hair but no beard and also the man with a beard but no hair and so these are massive characters introduced in the slippery soap book and essentially if you guys don't remember because you know it's kind of hard to remember all these characters from all these books if you haven't read them recently but 
Essentially, they are villains, and they even frighten Count Olaf, and the reason why they're named like that is because Lemony actually refuses in the books to write down their names, so I'm guessing they're not going to be named in this. And so, they were the actual ones that started the VFD headquarter fire in the Valley of Four Drafts in the mountains, as mentioned, as will be mentioned in the Slippery Slope, as it is mentioned in the book. And so, the reason why they're with Count Olaf is because in the book, they actually come and congratulate Count Olaf on setting the fire at the carnival that we saw in season two. And so, they actually do return in the books in the penultimate peril as high judges and when the Hotel du Numon fire is started these two are actually last seen during the fire and their fates are actually untold of like we don't know what happens after but maybe we get some definitive answers in the TV show but that's just sort of like a little backstory as to what's happening with these two but this is their first meeting with Count Olaf and his troop and you can see Count Olaf and the two people behind him as part of his troop and they're in the mountains at this point and so we go back to the Grim Grotto episodes and you see the submarine and you get to see Count Olaf's submarine as well which in the books is actually called the Carmelita and it's an octopus shaped submarine piloted and controlled by Count Olaf and in the books they actually capture the submarine of the Baudelaire's and in the books Fiona actually joins the crew of the Carmelita in order to stay with her brother who is part of Count Olaf's troop Fernald and so that is the man with the hook and that's going to be a revelation in that bit and so that is why she switches sides and you don't really get to see that much of her after that. The main reason why she actually goes to the Carmelita is for her brother because she finds out about him and so now moving on to the next shot and this is of Count Olaf in the ship and you can see in the background Esme's there in her octopus attire and again continued on from that back in our ship in the VFD ship that I'm not going to try and pronounce again is the Baudelaire's and you get to see in a somewhat unknown situation in a telegraph machine there is a VFD telegraph saying attention all volunteers and this is some sort of warning most likely for a fire or something along those lines it's just kind of hard to find out which episode this is in because it's so sort of blurred around it and that's the only thing I can see and Count Olaf in the voice overlay says I will end VFD VFD once and for all just prior to this and so essentially the answers for VFD and all that's happened in the Baudelaire's past and future is going to be answered in these coming episodes in season 3. And then we move on to the next shot and in the voice overlay along with this you hear them saying the last safe place is Hotel de Numon and the hotel is packed with familiar faces as Mr. Poe says and you get a shot outside you get to see the pond the trees and the sign and the whole place, Hotel du Numon. Again, I'm not saying in the French way because I can't say it. And so then we go into the hotel and you see them volunteering undercover as hotel workers in the Hotel du Numon. We get to see familiar faces, as Mr. Post says. You get to see Jerome Squalor from season two, the headmaster, and some new figures surrounding, and also Esme in the hotel. And then we go to the gardens, most likely, of the Hotel du Numon, and you see Kit Snicket as they are hiding from something, and she's talking to the Baudelaire's at that point. And so going back to that scene from before, you see Count Olaf and his troop with the two nameless people, and they are on the top of the mountain, and the ravens are taking away the people. And probably one of my favourite moments in this entire trailer is this shot of Kit Snicket, and she looks like she is been days. She looks like she's been punched in the face, she's been battered, and she's pretending she's about to die and fall off the cliff, but instead she uses her wings and she's safe. And so this harks back to what we saw in season two and how in the voice overlay in this trailer she says things aren't always as they seem Baudelaire's and she flies down the mountain instead of landing to her death and so we see her using those butterfly wings. I don't really remember if it's mentioned in the books but does this confirm that she is in fact that person with the butterfly wings rather than it actually being the Baudelaire's mum? So is it actually not Beatrice in what we saw at the VFD headquarters with that flashback scene to that moment? So I think that's really interesting and I just love this. And so moving on to the next shot we see the Baudelaire's as they've most likely escaped the 
submarine and they've got the sort of like armor and clothing from the submarine still on and that's in the Grim Grotto episode and now we move on to a shot and this shot is of the Baudelaire's and what looks like the Quagmire's. You can see Duncan right there so most likely they're reunited in the Slippery Slope episode like in the books. This is most likely after they've been to the VFD headquarters, met Quigley, it could be Quigley, I can't really make it out too well but it does look like Duncan but you know they are triplets so it's kind of hard to see. So then we move on and we're back at the Hotel du Numon. Olaf has got his harpoon gun pointed at the Baudelaire's and he says, do you want to know what happens next? And then the bottle say, what happens next? And then this is cut with a montage and you see various shots, one of Kit Snicket and Poe in the Slippery Slope episode because there's snow everywhere. And then we go to a really interesting shot and this is most likely in the past and this is probably a flashback to one of the VFD meetings and you see Lemony Snicket with what looks like is actually Beatrice Baudelaire and this is played by Marina Baccarin and you will know her from Deadpool and Gotham and so if this is actually Beatrice this is the first time we've actually seen her on screen with her face and most likely it is because it looks like Lemony in the past and she does have the sugar bowl in her hand and so it looks like they're in a state of shock so someone's coming at them, maybe it's the fire, maybe it's something like that, but it's definitely Count Olaf or something related. And so moving on, the next shot is of the Baudelaire's and Count Olaf as they fall down and I can't sort of pin it down correctly, but then we move on and this is in the final episode on the island and you see two of the Baudelaire's and then some of the islanders that they are greeted with. But then we are finally on the final shot, my favourite shot of the trailer. After that Kit Snicket falling off the mountain shot, my favourite shot is of Lemony Snicket as he gets out of a taxi and he says, Violet, Klaus and Sonny Baudelaire, my name is Lemony Snicket. And I got major chills. Literally every time I've watched this trailer, I've watched it like five times now. I get chills really bad because throughout the entire two seasons of a series of unfortunate events he has the phrase my name is Lemony Snicket and now he is in present day with Violet, Klaus and Sonny Baudelaire and he's meeting them finally so this confirms he's alive and well he's most likely going to be meeting them for the very first time and it looks like this might be outside the hotel du Numon. this is really intriguing so thank you guys so much for watching this video we've had so much to talk about so supposedly we've got a first look at beatrice and additionally lemony snicket meets the baudelaire's and also we get to see many other massive points that are going to be featured prominently in the final season of a series of unfortunate events. So anyway guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.